Okay, good. Uh, so what we're working on uh, is these horses that have uh, extremely low heels or they've had conformational change to the uh, what we call the appendage of the cartilage, which results in negative palmar angle. So what we found is that if we use the DE hoof taps uh, placed just forward of the heels, it helps to promote some uh, some growth uh, and changes the stimulus to the cartilages uh, so that we get correct we get growth and the correct orientation. So they, they've really helped quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one of the cadavers that uh, uh, the students have been working on and I'm going to pick one that's got some under on heels. You know, we already did that one so we'll pick another one here. There we go. Ouch. <laughs> so all right. In any case remember these are cadavers and uh, and we've been working on establishing where the foot is on the inside. So what I'm going to do first is what we need to do with the DE hoof taps is decide where we're going to put it. And right here is where I'm going to put them for this particular type of foot. And I need to cut a groove at the edge of the sole in the white line. What we term the golden line. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Okay, just a small groove. Now what I found is, if we look at the, the hoof caps here, they have a curvature to them and our points. Well, I found that because I have big fingers, if I try to hold them and hammer at the same time, it's not uncommon for me to end up with some split fingers. So if I use the forcep, and I place it where I want it, and we're gonna go straight in. I can set it in the center. And get it so it's flush with the sole. And then what I'll do is I'll take my rasp, and if I'm leaving the shoeless, or, or even if I'm not, we're gonna be putting these into uh, Perfect Cookware wrap, uh, into our polyester wrap, uh, similar to a casting material. We would put an angle on here because this helps to stimulate the terminal papillae, which is responsible for the integrity of that uh, white line. Uh, we would, so I come right to it. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. You can get used to using these. I leave it a little proud. Oh, got it backwards. I want to follow the curvature. I'll take the time to do it. Makes for an easier application. Be precise in your first couple of strikes. It won't bend over on you. It'll go in nicely. And then we can just dress it. Again, same thing. Dress the whole foot. So there I have it. I stabilized that quarter uh, with that tap and uh, it's flush with the sole. And we found that that really helps in stabilizing and providing stimulus for uh, good growth in that area. So that's about it. We're going to do a couple more videos later on today uh, with some other, other products and appliances. So I think if that helps, great. Okay. Thanks. And I'm going to pick one that's got some under on heels. You know, we already did that one, so we'll pick another one here. There we go. Ouch. <laughs> so.